We set this up in collaboration with three of our networks. So our gender network, our Pride and Allies, and our BME, which is our ethnicity network. And really the purpose for doing this was um, to create a safe space uh, for leaders um, and more junior members of staff to share insights, experiences, and to really hear what's going on from a pupil experience um, point of view. Uh, from individuals who come from some of those diverse groups. So they really like listening circles, if you like, and for more senior people to be mentored by more junior people. It's structured through a series of really easy, low pressure calls and meetings that are informal, safe and confidential. And that fosters and cultivates a symbiotic relationship between the managers and the employees. People wanted to listen actively, people wanted to share actively and it was a really good combination where it became really constructive and you could really see the benefits of having the conversation because it, you know, opened up blind spots. It's a great opportunity for us really as senior leaders to um, listen um, to our more junior colleagues to hear about their challenges, their experiences, how they feel about being included um, in the workplace at SG and for us to learn really. Um, we don't come from necessarily those backgrounds um, so it really kind of broadens our horizons in terms of what other people are experiencing and facing um, and to think about ways as senior leaders that we can champion. You can't manage uh people without having an overall understanding of where they're coming from. We spend a lot of time at work, we spend a lot of time with our colleagues and making sure we are comfortable around each other is, is only naturally going to get the best out of each other. So it not only makes business sense, you know, it makes, it makes sense in a broader societal context as well. From the bank's point of view, we increase productivity, but from your team's point of view, we'll also increase general happiness. I'm really blown away by the willingness to learn from our senior leaders, the willingness to understand what they need to do to build an inclusive culture. I'm proud, I'm excited, I'm passionate, and I really think this is gonna make a difference. I would really encourage anyone to get involved, to speak up, let your voice be heard, and more importantly, be part of the positive solution and the positive journey we are on that SG in creating this inclusive culture.